Amazing. How has your experience been here thus far as ideas and Filipinos? You know, it's really a great passion because it's above all, it's more than a competition. It's really a sisterhood. And I bring that in a further in my life. I love hearing. Let's give that a big round of applause. This really is a sisterhood, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Are you ready for your one word? Yes. Okay. Please select from our mar margarita glass. All right. I want you to please expound on the word death. Death. Death is everyone. Uh, that is everyone's fear. But I believe that that is a reminder for each and every one of us to live our life to the fullest, to live our life as if we're gonna die tomorrow, to live our life to fulfill our dreams and everything, and to use our life as an influence to others. Because I believe that that is not the end. Rather, it is a new beginning. And if you fulfilled your life, if you left a legacy, then your life will forever go on with each and every one's heart. Thank you. Applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, candidate number 43. Perfect team. Thank you, Life to the Fullest. A very awesome answer. Thank you, candidate number 43. May I welcome he is candidate number 9 to the front of the stage. Where's your supporters at? Show your support. Send my own. Ah, I saw that we see. All right. How are you? You look so beautiful this evening. Thank you, Gary. Really? And have you done pageants before, or is this your first national pageant? No, I've done pageants before, but Yes No Filipinas is not a typical pageant. It's a trend set. It really is. And you look amazing tonight. You're glowing with confidence. Okay. I'm rooting for you. Please select one word from our magical margarita glass. I would like you to expound on the word technology. You know what? I consider technology as a God's blessing. Technology allows people to connect with one another. It makes the world smaller and bring people closer. That is why we people must know how to use technology properly. Let us now not allow technology to ruin the minds of people, but instead, let us take advantage of it. Thank you. Oh, okay. A very intelligent Alright, right, let's welcome candidate number 20 to the front of the stage. You look so beautiful this evening. I love your dress. Who is the designer? Oh, that's amazing. Okay. I have to ask, how has your journey been thus far? It's been a great journey. And yes, in Philippines, it's not a one of it's a one of a kind pageant. We've been in two eating balot in day three. We've been balot. Yes. What's that by Yes. How many years? Sixteen. I mean, sixteen weeks. I think it's sixteen years. Sixteen years. Look at that. All right. Well, I applaud you for having balot. That's something that I cannot do. I've tried it and I have failed miserably. All right. Please select one word from our margarita glass. A very interesting word indeed. Please expound on the word Earth. In today's generation, a lot of people have been using our resources in a different way. I want everyone to always use our resources properly and respectively because this is all is one and only earth that we have. So we must protect it as much as we can. Thank you. Alright, thank you very much. And a very intelligent answer and thank you candidate number 20. Alright, let's welcome candidate number 18. Where's her support? That's okay. That's part of the journey. But you, you owned it like a professional, and you got back up, and you kept on moving. And that's what I appreciate. All right, I have to ask: Did you expect to be part of our top ten? Is this a surprise, or did you know that you're going to be a part of it? 
I was not expecting to be part of the top 10, but I was always reminding myself to do my best in order for me to be in the top 10. Great. Well, you look amazing. I wish the best for you. Just have fun, all right? Please select one yes. word from our glass. Very interesting word indeed. So I would like you to expound on the word malnutrition. I believe that malnutrition is one of the greatest issues that we're experiencing today. And what causes this is probably the poverty. And I would like to take this opportunity to remind everyone to be of help to every single person in every possible way that we can. Because after all, we live in the same world. All we have to do is to help each other in order for us to succeed and be better. Thank you. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, candidate number 18. All right, let's welcome candidate number 41 to the front of the stage. Hello. How are you? I'm doing wonderful, thank you. I love your gown. Who's your designer? Uh, actually, my designer is sitting right over there, Christian Melator from Bohol. Very well done. I love it. It's shining on the stage. All right. How has your journey been thus far here in Hias and Filipinas? Well, it definitely hasn't been an easy one, but it's been definitely fulfilling. So I'm really grateful to have come so far and to have grown as much as I have with Hias and Filipinas. I love that. Gratitude. It's, it really is everything. All right. I wish you the best of luck. Please select one word from our glass. No Jackie. No Jackie. No Jackie. All right, Jackie. My word for you is tourism. Please expound on this. Tourism in the Philippines is one of our greatest assets. Despite the fact that we went through a hurdle of COVID-19, I find that it is important that we succeed and invest in clean and sustainable infrastructure so that we can make sure that we soar through the skies and take care of the hias of the Philippines, which is the Philippines itself. Thank you so much. Candidate number 41. Wow. We have so many intelligent answers this evening. Amazing. All right. Hello, candidate number 36. How are you? Hello, sir. I am feeling great. You know what, everyone? I am a dialysis patient, and I am more than blessed for he has the Filipinas organization for accepting me and allowing me to continue my treatment, even if I am in the middle of the competition. Thank you so much. Give a big round of applause for that. That's amazing. Well, we are very happy to have you. Okay, if you're ready, please select one word from our glass. Well, very on theme here. Please elaborate on these three words, Hias and Filipinas. Hias and Filipinas is more than just a beauty pageant. It is an organization that helps those people who are in here. And I believe that Hias and Filipinas is an inclusive foundation which welcomes everyone, especially me, at the dialysis patient. I am beyond blessed and I stand here as a bacon of as a beacon of inspiration to everyone, that no matter what health problems we have in life. Thank you. All right, let's give a big round of applause. 30 seconds is up. Thank you very much. Let's welcome candidate number 40 to the front of the stage. What a beautiful gown that you're wearing this evening. How are you? You're always good. Actually, you know my special hour of all. Um, alam mo yun, pwede ko basahin yung utak mo. Wait lang. Let me, let me read it right now. Ano mo sinasabi mo? Parang bagay tayo. Alright. Um, how, did you expect to be here in the top 10? Hindi, bakit? Because there are our own capabilities and responsibilities of this beauty pageant. Uh, they're all good, and uh, I can expect that I'm here right now. Well, you deserve to be here. You have owned the stage throughout the recent competitions. 
So just have fun, all right? Please select one word from our class. All right, this is a very complex term. Please elaborate on the word government. Thank you. As a public servant, uh, serving my community in our Pangasinan, giving service to others is what really defines me. It has been and always been my identity because that's what my parents taught me. And uh, being a public servant and municipal councillor in my community, um, I am not. I, I'm not just. I, in my community, serving them it allows me to do the good things that very close to my heart, and it devotes me to serve them. Thank you. Right, let's give a big round of applause for Nancy. Thank you so much, candidate number 40. Let's welcome candidate number 39. Where's your supporters at? Make some noise! How are you this evening? I'm really, really good. Have you enjoyed the process? Yes, I really enjoyed our journey in his and Filipinas because in his and Filipinas there is really the sisterhood of what we call this. I love that. That's what it's all about. Okay, are you ready for my question? Yes. All right, well, I'm choice. <laughs> Please select one word from the margarita glass. I would like you to expound on the word the violence. In this world, there is really violence. As someone coming from Sultan Kudarat, we are marked as being a red for red, already having war. But now, we are. I am here in front of you to say that we are living in peace because of the government and its people working one hand in hand. And we can also do it in our country. Just help each other and spread love. Thank you. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, candidate number 39. Let's welcome candidate number 33 to the front of the stage. Hello, good evening. Really? Wow. And I really want to thank Sir Mike for allowing me to represent my beloved province, Agbo Santo Sur. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sir Mike. How are you liking Cebu so far? I really love the people here. They're very welcoming. Bye-bye, Yes. Thank you so much. Okay, good. All right. Well, is there a message you'd like to give to your supporters in the crowd? Um, to my supporters, especially to my family, to my Where are they? over there. Hi, thank Mom. you so much for coming Hi, here. Mom. All right, please select one word from our glass. All right, I would like you to elaborate on the word war. War. We all know the things that's going around the, the world between the Israel and Palestine. And I really want to inculcate to the young, to the everyone, to the minds of everyone, that we should promote unity and set aside the different, the, set aside our polit, and uh, set aside our differences, political differences. And I really want to tell to everyone to promote and respect the different diversity. Because I always believe that through unity, there's always freedom. Thank you so much. Well, I'm excited about candidate number 33. Last but not least, please join me here at the front of the stage. Such a beautiful gentleman. All right, I noticed that your candidate number has dropped, so please tell your candidate number for our judges, just for record purposes. What is your candidate number? 15. 15, okay. Is there any message you'd like to give to your supporters in the crowd? Hi guys, thank you for being here today. Um, did you ever expect to be a part of the top 10? Actually no, because I stumbled in my academic position. Well, thank you. You're here now, so let's make the most of it, alright? Please select our final word in the glass. Alright, I would like you to elaborate on the word poverty. Poverty. Poverty is indeed the root causes of everything. But to solve poverty, we must know the root 
in order for us to live a life. The root is cause of everything. But with knowing the root, just by giving education to the children, it is already a big help. So I want to leave a message that poverty may destroy your dreams, but through education, we can be more and dream more. Thank you. All right, thank you.